morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can over overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while it may seem like a miracle to some folks, that healing, renewing, regenerating system is merely just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, please give us a call at 844-236-6010. We welcome your phone calls. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. And try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you want to start yourself a longevity business, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're a business person, if you want to start a network marketing business, or if you just want to help change the world using the power of nutrition and make some money while you're doing it, please call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can get your products at the wholesale price. You can enjoy all your longevity products at the wholesale price. Plus, you can start yourself a business helping change the world with nutritional supplementation. Call 866-735-2470 and they can give you the scoop. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% gel. If you want to experience the power of retinol, connective tissue building retinol, collagen building retinol, anti-aging retinol. If you're interested in anti-aging skincare, you need to be using retinol and not just any retinol folks. You need a big old dose of the stuff. And that's why I made my retinol 5% gel. You're not going to see that anywhere. Nobody's got a 5% gel because nobody knows how to use, nobody knows how to formulate a 5% product that isn't going to cause mega irritation and be very unstable over the course of 30 32 years of compounding pharmacy experience. And I wasn't just a compounding pharmacist. I was a compounding pharmacist for the skin. I am a compounding pharmacist for the skin. I've developed techniques for stabilizing retinol, for leveraging its power without having to expose you to uh, massive irritation, the massive irritation that you get from Retin-A or other retinol products. You can experience our Retinol 5% gel as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Vitamin C Rich, Never Any Preservatives, Fragrances, Fillers, Waxes, Oil, Water, silicon, propylene glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can experience them all by checking out truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and ordering products right off the website. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour at 844-236-6010, as we always do. In the book Flow, F-L-O-W, Flow, University of Chicago uh, professor Mihaly Chick sent Mihaly, and that is a mouthful. It took me a long time to figure out how to say that guy's name. Mihaly Chick sent Mihaly. He talks about the nature of what he calls flow, which is the nature of optimal experience. He calls it the secret of happiness. 
And he uses the word flow, which is the title of the book, to refer to the ability to navigate the normal ups and downs and vicissitudes of life, the ability to withstand tragedy, the ability to withstand unexpected events, the phenomena of things not going the way we want them to, and how to, how to, uh, how to maintain poise and grace and happiness under these kinds of circumstances. No matter what we want to accomplish in our lives, there's going to be some kind of resistance. Whenever, we're, whenever we want to change, whenever we want to accomplish something, whenever we want to move, we're always going to be going against the grain. In physics, this change uh, is called inertia. Sir Isaac Newton called it inertia. He called it the law of inertia, which basically says that objects in motion want to stay in motion, and objects that are not in motion want to stay not in motion. That's called inertia. And all living systems that want to move or want to get somewhere or want to accomplish something different, accomplish something new, have to have an ability to navigate against inertia, the natural resistance to the way things are. This is what uh, Professor Csikszentmihalyi calls flow, the ability to flow. In the world we live in, the force of inertia is related to gravity, and this is a force that keeps things moving in one direction. And in a way, it's life against gravity. When we want to move, it's movement against gravity. And the human body has evolved mechanisms, structural mechanisms, to not only withstand the force of gravity, but actually to be able to thrive in gravity. And in the body, this ability is the property of the connective tissue, which is what we've been talking about for a long time now. And for good reason, because because much of what we call degenerative disease is about the connective tissue, and it's about the connective tissue not having this ability to flow. The collagen, the elastin, the blood, the bone, all have to have a certain kind of flexibility, they have to have an ability to flow, particularly as it regards the gravity. And as we lose, uh, as we age, we lose this ability to, uh, to resist gravity, to resist flow. Aging, the visible signs of aging, even the non-visible signs of aging are really an inability for the body to withstand the force of inertia, to withstand the force of gravity. Our connective tissue is our anti-gravity system, and as it breaks down due to aging, due to toxicity, due to sugar, and make no mistake about it, sugar and connective tissue are mortal enemies, and nutritional deficiency, and a lack of oxygen, generally the, the, just the things that, that cause general breakdown in the body. Our ability to resist and navigate gravity becomes compromised, and this is the cause of aging. This is the cause of aging itself, as well as the visible signs of aging, and this is what we're all obsessed with fighting, with our facelifts, and our surgical procedures, and our tummy tucks. All of this, all of the things that we see advertised from plastic surgeons and, and, and uh, uh, folks who want to manipulate our bodies through cosmetics and skin health, uh, skincare products, it's really all about somehow defeating the force of gravity. The way we break down from our wrinkles to our prolapses to our hernias to heart disease to dementias to autoimmunity are really manifestations of the body not able to withstand gravity, to not able to withstand the natural forces that are in the environment. The human body has to flow. The liquids in the body have to flow. The blood has to flow. The air has to flow. The electricity, the, the electronic nature of the body has to flow. Everything in the body has to flow, and we have to understand the nature of flow if we're going to understand the nature of health. If we're going to understand anti-aging, we really have to understand what this thing called flow is about, and the flow is carried through the connective tissue. It's the connective tissue that allows us to move in relationship to the environment, specifically uh, to the force of gravity. Via the connective tissue, the human body is able to not just resist gravity, but actually to work with gravity. The classic signs of aging are the signs of gravity winning. If there is a battle between us and gravity, between uh, our, the forces inside our body and the forces against our body, when we're aging, we're losing the battle. Gravity is winning. When the connective tissue flows, the connective tissue literally flows. It's a liquid solid. That is so amazing, you guys. The connective tissue is a liquid solid. That is not an oxymoron. That is exactly what it is. Scientists call it a liquid crystal. And this liquid flow, this, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, this liquid solid that has to flow, this liquid crystal, requires hydration. It requires moisture. 
thus the importance of drinking water, thus the importance of making sure we're well hydrated, and thus the importance of making sure that we got enough connective tissue because it's the connective tissue that traps the water. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue when we come back from our break. All right, we're back on the bright side, and we do have a full board of open lines, all open lines, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those, and if you want to just comment uh, on whatever we're talking about here today, the connective tissue flow, gravity. If you've read Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, I'd love to hear from you. Super cool book, by the way. And there's a couple of, a couple of books about the book. The book's called Flow. And uh, there's another book called The Power of Flow, which is about flow, the book Flow. And it's just a neat concept. The idea that we can navigate the normal ups and downs and resistances of life. That's what flow is all about. And obviously, we have to have that kind of, we have to have some kind of ability to do that in terms of our physical body. This is uh, the job of the connective tissue, which is in essence a liquid solid. I love that idea. It's a liquid solid, it's a liquid crystal. Not just a liquid solid, it's a liquid crystal. And a crystal is a substance that has a certain organization. That's what makes something crystal. And when you look at a, a quartz crystal, for example, most people, when they think of crystals, think of stones, crystal stones. And indeed, these are uh, get their crystalline quality or crystalline nature from the, the uh, subatomic structure, the organization that the electrons and the atoms all have. They're structured in a certain kind of way that allows them to conduct energy, that allows them to flow. Liquid crystals flow. Of course, for the connective tissue, the liquid crystal called the connective tissue, the liquid crystal connective tissue to flow, it has to have moisture. It has to have hydration. This hydration is required for the for the uh, connective tissue to be able to do its move, for, uh, to be able to move, to be able to move with gravity. When it's knotted, when it's tight, when it's dehydrated, it does not flow. If you're dealing with chronic fatigue issues, there's a very good chance that your body is in resistance. It's not flowing with gravity. Have you ever noticed what cats do when they wake up from a nap? They do this really interesting kind of stretch, which is almost like a combination of muscle contraction and stretching. It's really neat. If you, if you, if you have a cat, watch your cat when, when uh, he or she wakes up, and you'll, he does this really kind of very fascinating stretch that runs the length of their bodies. You can learn a lot from a cat. You can learn a lot from really all animals which are body oriented. Of course, cats are incredibly body oriented. This is why we're so fascinated with cats. Just watch a cat move. It's the most amazing thing how they're in their bodies, how connected they are with their bodies. A cat is, all animals are body oriented, but nothing, no animal is as body oriented as a cat. Cats have been admired for millennia. They, they were considered gods by the ancient Egyptians because of their ability to, to move their bodies. They had this amazing grace. In yoga, they actually have a cat stretch. It's called the Marjari Asana. It's used by uh, yoga masters, yoga practitioners to increase flexibility of the spine, to strengthen the wrist and the shoulder, to improve blood flow to the abdomen, and to improve the functioning of the, of the digestive system. You can, we can all do this, these kinds of stretches, any kind of stretches. You don't need to do a yoga stretch. You don't need a, the Marjari Asana, which is a really technical cat stretch that, uh, that yoga masters do. Any kind of stretching is going to improve the flow of energy in the body. First thing in the morning, stretch. First thing in the morning, by stretching, we loosen the connective tissue that's been all tied up in the body throughout the night. When the body doesn't move, the connective tissue stiffens. The connective tissue, uh, connective tissue flow, the flow of energy through the connective tissue improves as we stretch. Electrical energy flows through the connective tissue. The connective tissue itself flows more effectively when we stretch. Stretching has an important effect on the flow of blood through the circulatory system. This can be especially beneficial if you're dealing with heart disease. Stretching the body, stretching the connective tissue first thing in the morning is just as, or even more important, as any prescription drug you could take for heart disease. Of course, uh, it's non-toxic, and you're going to get anti-aging benefits as well. 
Stretching can be beneficial for folks dealing with atherosclerosis. Remember, atherosclerosis is a connective tissue issue. It's not a cholesterol issue. It's not a cholesterol issue. It's not a cholesterol issue. I don't know how many times I could say this. Your atherosclerosis is not a cholesterol issue. No matter what your cardiologist tells you, no matter what the meme is, no matter what the mind virus in the culture that's been perpetuated, inoculated into the culture by the people selling us these nasty drugs, it's not a cholesterol issue. As you stretch, you activate your muscles. As you stretch, you stimulate the production of connective tissue. As you stretch, you, you amp up the electrical energy in the connective tissue. You normalize your blood pressure. You improve the flow of electricity to the muscles. You improve the flow of blood to the brain, especially first thing in the morning. And this can help you wake up and make you more alert. As the muscles start moving with your stretching, they also flush out toxins. They flush out byproducts, uh, uh, byproducts of metabolism, carbon dioxide, lactic acid. All of these things tend to build up while we're sleeping. So first thing in the moving, first thing in the morning, moving your body, moving the muscles, doing stretching can be an, a wonderful way to detox. All of this points to the non-toxic, non-doctor, non-medical strategies we can all use to improve our health and to reduce or slow down the effects of aging. And all of this point to the idea that we may not be sick. We just may be missing or, or not taking advantage of or not leveraging simple little strategies like stretching, like deep breathing. One of the things deep breathing does, by the way, in addition to, uh, in addition to oxygenating and, and improving detoxification, the ex exhalation of carbon dioxide, one of the most important things that deep breathing does is it activates the connective tissue. It improves the movement of the connective tissue. The diaphragm depends on connective tissue, and as you move your diaphragm up and down, you're stimulating the connective tissue. This is one of the most important ideas when it comes to the health of the connective tissue, which means anti-aging, which means reducing reducing wrinkles, which means improving bone strength and, uh, and the strength of your joints and cartilage, one of the most important ideas is the connective tissue grows in response to movement. The connective tissue grows in response to pressure. Just touching it amps up the electrical energy and stimulates growth of the connective tissue. And one has to wonder if our disease crisis, our chronic disease crisis, which in large part is a connective tissue breakdown crisis, has to do with our sedentary lifestyles, with the lack of movement. So as the muscles start moving when you're stretching in the morning, you're detoxifying, you're stimulating the growth of connective tissue, you're improving oxygenation. And by the way, uh, the toxins, the lactic acid and the carbon dioxide that build up in the body through the night, lactic acid and carbon dioxide being byproducts of metabolism that is occurring as we sleep, the metabolism is still going, and the lactic acid and carbon dioxide are building up, but because we're not moving, they can build up, and this can cause pain. This can cause neuropathies. This can, this can cause uh, cramping and soreness. You may notice that if you have arthritis or if you're healing from an injury, that sometimes in the middle of the night, you can really feel it. It's kind of throbs in the middle of the night, or first thing in the morning, you can really feel it. That's an indicator that it's time to stretch. Your neuropathies, the pain that we have in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning, the soreness that we have first thing in the morning, or even sometimes cramping and soreness after we take a nap, can be relieved by simple stretching, by simple movement of the body. And stretching prepares the muscles. Stretching stimulates oxygenation to the muscles, in addition to removing toxins out of the muscles. So stretching prepares us for activity, prepares us especially for the activity of the day if we stretch first thing in the morning. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, Truth Skin Health formulations, or uh, if you've tried our bone broth protein, love to hear from you. Also, if you've tried our cannabinoids, our uh, Pure Hemp Technology CBD product at brightsidehealth.com if you're dealing with chronic pain issues or uh, if you have uh, anxiety issues or insomnia issues or even, God forbid, if you're 
you're struck with cancer, there's a lot of really neat literature about CBD, cannabidiol. And I personally, with my own two ojos, my own two eyes, seen some incredible results with Pure Hemp Technologies product. And that's why I put it up at brightsidehealth.com. We also have bone broth protein. And uh, let's see what else is up at brightsidehealth.com. I've got some really neat digestive enzyme products as well. Uh, also, algae products. If you, I'm, I'm going to use Brightside Health as a website for really cool products that you can't get anywhere that I know work. So if you see the Brightside Health, uh, brightsidehealth.com, that's a, you know that I've seen that product work. I vetted that product for you, brightsidehealth.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you on our team. If you want to make some money selling longevity products and if nutritional supplementation is helpful you in your life and you want to help spread the word and make some money at the same time, please call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team and start yourself a longevity business. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number from Medical Express. This is a study that was uh, from the University of Oxford. Uh, uh, study from the University of Oxford. I'm not sure where it was published. Oh, in the journal uh, Cochrane Database of Systemic Reviews, pregabalin relieves pain in some patients with fibromyalgia. Pregabalin is a really interesting drug. You may know it as Lyrica, uh, but the name pregabalin, which is the, uh, the chemical name of Lyrica, and you see Lyrica commercials all the time uh, for, for various health challenges, including depression and anxiety and chronic pain. It's used also to treat fibromyalgia. But the key to understanding the power of pregabalin and why you really don't need pregabalin is in the name pregabalin, P-R-E-G-A-B-A-L-I-N. It is a form of GABA. It is a prescription pharmaceutical derivative of the brain chemical G-A-B-A, GABA, which is a very underappreciated supplement, dietary supplement. You can buy it in the health food store. It is a natural chemical that's made from the brain. It's actually made in response to the ketogenic diet. It's made in response to dietary fiber. This is the, the, the so called gut brain connection via correct digestive strategies, via intestinal health, via good bacteria that live in the gut, we can actually make neurotransmitters like GABA, G A B A. Pregabalin is a form of GABA that has pain relieving properties. Well, guess what? Plain old GABA has pain relieving properties too. Pregabalin has relaxing properties. Well, guess what? GABA has relaxing properties too. You don't need Lyrica, folks. If you want to upregulate GABA, get yourself a GABA supplement. You can also use certain mushrooms which contain GABA. And also, you can upregulate your own natural GABA by correcting digestive health problems, going ketogenic, going caloric restriction. These are all mechanism strategies for reducing GABA. And by the way, GABA is a wonderful anti-seizure supplement. Natural GABA is one of the ways the body controls electrical energy. So it makes sense that GABA would have anti-seizure properties. From uh, the journal Surgery, vitamin A and retinoic acid induced fibroblast differentiation. Yet another study showing that vitamin A and uh, retinoic acid, which is activated vitamin A, and presumably retinol, which is a precursor to retinoic acid, improve the ability of the cells called fibroblasts to do their work. Well, what does the fibroblast work? making connective tissue. As we've said so many times in this program, the fibroblasts are the superstars of the skin when it comes to anti-aging the skin. The activation of the fibroblasts is the holy grail of skin care, and there's all kinds of products that purport to activate fibroblasts, that is to improve their ability to make collagen, improve their ability to make elastin, the fibers that keep your skin from wrinkling, and to improve their ability, the fibroblast's ability to make high aluronic acid. The fibroblast is the source of high aluronic acid. Well, guess what? Vitamin A and retinoic acid induce the fibroblasts to do their work. From the journal Surgery, the role of vitamin A in wound healing and fibroplasia, that is the production of fibers, has been studied extensively in vivo, but the mechanism has not been established in this study. The effect of vitamin A and retinoic acid on fibroblast growth and collagen accumulation was examined, and it was found that the, the mechanism of vitamin A and retinoic acid for pumping out collagen, stimulating collagen, and wound healing 
and improving the growth of tissue is about the fibroblast. That makes vitamin A a fibroblast, a true, not just pretend, not just in a test tube in vitro, but in vivo, in real life, a true fibroblast stimulator. This is something that I discovered in the world of pharmacy for when it came to healing, and that's how I came up with my truth treatment products. I wanted super high concentrations of vitamin A to, uh, to match the power of retinoic acid, retinoic acid 0.05% is equipotent to retinol 5%. There's a hundred times difference between the two, retinoic acid being a hundred times stronger than uh, retinol. So a 0.05% retinoic acid is equipotent to a 5.0%, a hundred times greater concentration of retinol. That's how I came up with, uh, that's how I came up with my uh, retinol 5%, why I decided to use 5% retinol. The problem with 5% retinol, for, for the most part, for most people anyway, that would be way too aggressive. Thus, the importance of our true treatment, uh, retinol 5% gel, because you get the benefits of the retinol 5%. If you're dealing with acne, you're dealing with accelerated aging, you're dealing with aging, or you want to prevent the aging process, you really need to have that big concentration, that high concentration, 5% concentration. Find out You can find out all about that at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Our number today, again, 844-236, uh, 844-236-6010, if you have questions about the longevity products. Intravenous vitamin C and cancer. I love this. More and more, if you just Google intravenous vitamin C and cancer, more and more it's being shown definitively that vitamin C injected right into the veins can be an amazingly helpful treatment for folks dealing with cancer. Whether it's curative or not, I cannot say, but it is definitely beneficial. I love IV nutrition. Nutritional supplementation is important, but given the fact that so many of us are dealing with digestive health problems, and in the world of nutrition, as you know, it's not just what you take in, it's what you absorb. Using intravenous nutrition can be incredibly helpful. If you're dealing with cancer, putting vitamin C right in the blood can be helpful. I know there are some doctors that say it's never been proven, it hasn't been shown. I'm not buying it. There is enough evidence, if you just get on PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D, PubMed.com, and Google intravenous vitamin C and cancer, or you uh, Google, go to scholar.google.com and, and Google um, uh, a search for intravenous vitamin C and cancer, you're going to find all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is from, uh, from Ron, uh, Ron Huntinghake. I it says it, Hunting Hake, MD, uh, a study that was published from uh, a research at the Olive W. Gravy Center for the Healing Arts. I'm not sure where that is. People with cancer typically have this quote. People with cancer typically have very low vitamin C reserves, unquote. This makes perfect sense when you understand the nature of vitamin C as a protective element. Vitamin C protects the body from disease. That's one of its major roles. It has lots of roles, but one of its major roles is to protect the body from disease. So it makes sense that people with cancer would typically would have uh, very low levels of this really super duper important detox vitamin. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We are on the air Monday through Friday. H9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, and we do have five plus years of archives at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. That's a great website. That's a compilation of all, all of my other websites, and I've got a bunch of websites on my uh, it just kind of grew that way, grew organically, and just kept adding websites. And they're all up at Brightside, uh, BenFuchsArchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off BrightsideBen.com as well. You can also purchase longevity products uh, from CriticalHealthNews.com and PharmacistBen.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, so we do not have calls, so I will continue talking here about vitamin C. Vitamin C, by the way, is the connective tissue building supplement, the ultimate connective tissue building supplement, and this is what accounts, at least partially accounts, for all of its wonderful benefits. It doesn't account, probably doesn't account for its immune boosting benefit. It is a powerful immune booster for all health issues, for all immune health issues, for autoimmunity. If you're dealing with an autoimmune health challenge and it's really significant, in my opinion, just my opinion, 
you are completely missing the boat if you're not leveraging the power of intravenous vitamin C. If you're dealing with a mild autoimmune condition, well, maybe not. But if you're dealing with a major autoimmune condition or if you have uh, uh, ALS or uh, multiple sclerosis and you're wheelchair bound, I'm telling you folks, you are going to be stunned by a high dose of intravenous vitamin C. It's an amazingly powerful, almost panacea-like nutritional supplement. When it comes to cancer, although medical professionals will tell you, oh, we don't know, there's not enough evidence, in my opinion, there's plenty of evidence. If, if vitamin C improves uh, the prognosis of cancer in one person or 10 people or even 100 people or a few people, whatever the number is, it's worth giving it a shot. From the journal Medical Hypothesis, intravenous ascorbate as a tumor-killing therapeutic agent, tumor cytotoxic therapeutic agent is what they say, according to this article. Ascorbic acid has the potential to selectively kill tumor cells in a manner similar to other tumor cytotoxic chemotherapeutic agents. Of course, with vitamin C, you don't have to deal with toxic side effects. With vitamin C, you get beneficial effects, anti-aging effects, immune boosting effects, bone building effects, blood building effects, heart disease preventing effects. If we really cared about health in this country, we would not be messing around with Obamacare. Every human being, every adult, or child would get as much vitamin C as they needed on the government. That's where our tax dollars should be going. From the Journal of Korean Medical Science, changes of terminal cancer patients' health-related quality of life after high-dose vitamin C administration. This is a study that talks about how just quality of life was improved by uh, intravenous use of vitamin C. Researchers, researchers concluded, although there is still controversy regarding anti-cancer effects of vitamin C, the use of vitamin C is considered a safe and effective therapy to improve the quality of life in terminal cancer patients. And this is very important. Okay. I understand that you might not cure your disease. I hate that word, but reverse your cancer, we'll say. But you will improve your quality of life. You will feel better. This should be every cancer patient's goal. And this should be every client or, or, or every uh, therapist who has a cancer client's goal is to make the patient stronger. Forget about curing the cancer. Make the patient feel better. Do everything you could do to have the cancer patient, if it's, if it's your patient or if it's you or if it's a loved one. This is the most tragic of, of diagnoses, obviously, because once cancer kicks in, to reverse it requires serious lifestyle changes that most people are, you know, most people don't want to go or don't have the time to go through because the cancer is so significant by the time they discover it. But we can still make the patient or make ourselves feel stronger, feel better. It's not a reason to not employ every single nutritional and health strategy you can think of just because you're at stage four or stage three or it looks hopeless. First of all, recognize that cancers remit all the time. They call them spontaneous remissions, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're spontaneous. It could have to do with how somebody's living their life. It could have to do with a change in how someone lives their life. Using nutritional supplements can help a patient feel better. Staying away from sugar can help a patient feel better. Using the ketogenic diet may not be curative against cancer. There's a, 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 a video of a guy, of Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez. Some of you may have heard of Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez. And he's poo-pooing the ketogenic diet. And he's, by the way, I, I love Dr. Gonzalez's work. He's passed away, but I loved his work with dealing with cancer, uh, using enzymes to deal with cancer. And apparently, I, I haven't seen this myself, but I've read that he did it somewhat successfully. So anyway, Dr. Gonzalez is on video poo-pooing the ketogenic diet as a cure for cancer. And he's right. The ketogenic diet doesn't cure cancer. However, the ketogenic diet can help your cancer patient feel better. Bone soup can help your patient feel better, or you feel better, or your loved one feel better. Vegetable juices, caloric restriction, all of these may not be curative in the sense that they're going to cure cancer, but they will help the patient feel stronger and better. And at the end of the day, this should be the goal. The goal of dealing, or, or the goal for, uh, for anyone who has to deal with cancer themselves or, or, or whose loved one or patient is dealing with cancer is to give the patient more energy, to have the patient feel better about life. 
And that should be all our goals, suffering from cancer or not. And this is where nutritional supplementation comes in. It's not necessarily about curing disease, although in many cases, diseases will reverse when you start a supplement program. It's about feeling better, giving your body all the resources, the raw materials it needs to do its work. That's what nutrition should be about, not curative, not curing disease. Doctors own cure. They will not allow you to say cure. You cannot say cure. Forget cure. We're not talking cure. I like talking reversing. But even if you don't reverse, feeling stronger and feeling better are valuable and viable goals. Feeling stronger and feeling better are legitimate goals. Feeling better and feeling stronger is what it's all about. Who cares what the diagnosis is if you feel great? Do you know people have cancer and they just live their lives fine? There are people who live their lives fine with cancer. And then they die with that cancer. They don't necessarily die of the cancer, but they die and they have that cancer. This happens all the time. Do not be bamboozled by your diagnosis. Medicine, the institute of medicine, the business of medicine, thrives on diagnoses. And then we buy into it. Oh, I have this di disease. I have that disease. So I'm going to go to an, an amyotropic lateral sclerosis specialist. I'm going to go to an endocrinologist because I have an endocrine problem. I'm going to go to a neurologist because I have a neuro neurological problem. We get bamboozled by the categories that our health challenges fall into when at the end of the day they're all basically the same thing. The body's falling apart. There's not 12,800 different degenerative diseases. There's one. My body is falling apart. MBFA disease, I call it. My body is falling apart disease. And this is the only disease there is. And when you understand that, when we understand that, then it becomes a simple matter of just reversing the breakdown. And it begins with the nutritional supplement program. And whether or not the reversal will be completed is irrelevant because once you start the program, once you start a nutritional supplement program, and once you start exercising and moving your body, and once you start breathing and respirating correctly, and once you start using emotional and mental strategies, and once you start restricting your intake of sugar, you will guaranteed 100% feel better, and that's what it's all about. You will guaranteed 100% 100 feel stronger, and that's what this is all about. And ultimately, if you do it correctly, ultimately, if you do it correctly, you can't help but live a longer, more vital life, and even ultimately, if you do it correctly, the odds are pretty darn good, certainly better than on any prescription drug or any doctor strategy or any surgical procedure, that you will begin the reversal process. This is the great gift of the human body. It wants to heal. It wants to renew. It doesn't need a middleman, a, med a medicine man. Medicine means middle. Remember that. Med comes from the word middle. Medicine men, doctors, insert themselves between us and our body's ability to heal, like priests of old. Medicine men are the middle men. I say eliminate the middleman and go right to the healing process itself by using a good nutritional supplement program, by moving your body, by making sure you're practicing your deep breathing, by making sure you're stretching in the morning, and of course leveraging all the emotional, mental, and spiritual strategies that you can think of for improving health, longevity, energy, and all the good things. That's what we're here for, folks. We're here for the good things in life, to grow and to respond to the ups and downs by thriving. The human body is designed to thrive. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And I'd love to have you on The Bright Side, Ben team if you want to make some money selling longevity products. And if you want to start a business, please call The Bright Side, Ben phone team at 866 735 20